Welcome to Around Town with Gene Allman. And you might notice that I am not Gene Allman. I have brunette hair. <laughs> um, today, uh, we want to be, ce we're celebrating the um, Small Business of the Month. And I've got with me Johnny Bass, who has been past chairman of the Small Business of the Month for the Chamber. And we're celebrating today with Richard and Amy Hunt, uh, dentist here in Rocky Mount over on Candlewood Drive. And y'all have been here for quite some time, and it is a real pleasure to have a chance to have this talk with you. Um, Johnny, if you would, tell us just a little bit about the Chamber and uh, what the Small Business Award is and why it is that uh, Amy and Richard are receiving that at this time. And um, then we'll come on back and talk a little bit more in detail so everybody will get to know them directly and personally. Great. Yes, we are here today with Dr. Hunt, and Dr. Hunts, and the Rocky Mount Area Chamber of Commerce has each month nominated a business that a small business that has been exemplary in the community and we would like for all of our chamber members and others who are interested who know companies that should be recognized for their outstanding service in the community what the chamber has on its website a link where you can nominate a business or you can just call the chamber or myself and now we're going to the award ceremony with the chamber presenting the award to dr hunts good afternoon i'm lodge daltridge the chairman of the rocky mountain area chamber of commerce i'm here along with the chamber ambassadors to uh, honor uh, Drs. Hunt and Hunt uh, for being named the uh, Small Business of the Month for February, uh, we're in, along with their associate, Dr. Fairley. Um, great practice here. I've uh, been in business for over 20 years. Uh, Richard is actually a third generation uh, dentist, and Amy uh, hails from Vero Beach, Florida, and they've met in Chapel Hill, and they live here in Rocky Mountain, and, and they've are here over off of Candlewood Road, have a wonderful practice. Uh, Richard, uh, I know you're heavily involved in the uh, Dental Association, both on the state and the national level? I have been, yeah. Okay. And, um, and I know y'all are extremely uh, active in the community. I personally uh, have worked with Amy with the Fun Run for Charities. And That's Amy, right. thank you for everything you've done there. And, and, uh, and uh, Richard with uh, Rocky Mountain Academy has served as the uh, president of that board. Uh, and still serves on the board of trustees at RMA. And that's part of what we like to celebrate here with the Small Business of the Month, not only having a great business, and, and, uh, but also being active in the community. So uh, we congratulate you. And with this, uh, you will have an opportunity to be the, uh, nominated for the Small Business of the, of the Year, which will have that celebration in um, June. Would y'all like to say anything? Well, actually, let me give it over to <laughs> I'm Roger Taylor and, and I'm working with a small business uh, for the Chamber and it's always nice uh, to to support and reward and honor uh, small business uh, leaders in our community and it's nice to have a community person because uh, Richard of course is from Rocky Mountain he brought his family back and developed a great practice and we're pleased with that and he's active in the community and church and missions and things like that and that always adds so much and we appreciate it and Dr. Hunt, Dr. Hunt, and, 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 and Dr. Fairley. I'm close, I'm close. But any, anyway, it's nice on this beautiful winter day to be out here celebrating. Well, Roger and Lodge, thank you. It's quite an honor, quite a surprise. But uh, we are, feel very privileged to be recognized this way. Rocky Mountain's a great community to live and practice in. And um, I just really thank you and the Chamber for the recognition that, that you've given us today. Good evening. I'm Sherry Johnson, the interim CEO at the Rocky Mount Chamber of Commerce, and I would like to add my congratulations to what Lige and Roger have already said. Actually, they stole some of my remarks, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, congratulations to all three of you, Dr. Hunt, Dr. Hunt, and Dr. Fairley. We are delighted to have you as the recipients of our award, Small Business of the Month for February, and look forward to you being in the um, competition for Small Business of the Year, which as I said will be presented in June. 
As I read of your biographical information, I could tell that you are very passionate about your community, but very, very compassionate about, um, passionate about your business and your dental practice. And I think that's something to certainly be commended that you work hard for that and have a nice clientele here. Um, and we are proud to have you as members of our Chamber of Commerce and certainly want to look forward to working with you in the future in any way that we can. But again, congratulations. And um, one of the things I did happen to notice is that you are very involved in um, giving back to people maybe that need some dental work that are less fortunate. I know, Amy, that I read that you did some of that at some of the universities. And Richard also serves in a teaching position at some of the other dental um, <clears throat> schools in the area. And for that, that is just so much that you're giving back to other people, and we appreciate that. Again, congratulations, and thank you. Um, now, now that you've seen why it is that Dr. Richard and Dr. Amy received the award, let's get to know them a little bit better personally and deep down. Because, Richard, now you're from Rocky Mountain originally. That's right, Rocky Mountain native, born and raised. Well, tell me a little bit about your family, because you're now the third generation in the dentistry business. That's right. Uh, grew up here in Rocky Mountain. My father and grandfather were both dentists. Grandfather Fred practiced downtown above Rose's Drugstore for many years. And then my father, who went by Dick, um, practiced over near Parkview Hospital at the time. And um, you got into the practice when and how? Well, when I graduated from dental school in 1989, I was um, approached by Charlie Godwin, a friend and uh, mentor of mine here in Rocky Mountain, who asked me if I'd like to come back and take over his practice as he was retiring. Um, so came back and moved into his practice upon his retirement in July of, of 1989. Well, now, since we're really trying to get to know you and let everybody in Rocky Mountain get to know you, tell me a little bit more about the affiliation that your father had with Dr. Godwin. Well, it's interesting. Actually, it was my grandfather. grandfather. I didn't learn about this until after I had taken over the practice, but uh, Dr. Godwin shared with me that when he graduated from dental school in Atlanta, um, he was returning to East North Carolina to practice, and his wife did not want to go to a hosky, and so they came to Rocky Mount and affiliated with my grandfather. He worked there above Rose's Drugstore for two years until he had established a practice of his own and moved out and, and uh, opened that practice on Franklin Street. So it's kind of interesting that I've... Um, Things have come around, and we still treat patients that were former patients of my grandfather's all those years ago. That's remarkable. And so now when you first got into the business then, so you took over Dr. Godwin's business, and then later on you've expanded out now when Dr. Ted Strickland passed away, that you have assumed his, his patients and worked in partnership with that. That is true. Uh, as I said, Amy and I have uh, been practicing here for 22 years, but um, unfortunately, two years ago, a good friend and colleague, Dr. Ted Strickland, passed away suddenly. Yes, a wonderful man. And um, it was a, quite a surprise to, um, to the dental community and to the community of patients that he took care of, took good care of. Um, his widow, Nancy, approached us about 15 months ago and asked if we would, could take on those patients of record. Uh, here in this location and so we agreed to do that and um, it has been a wonderful opportunity for us and we'd like to thank a good opportunity for those patients as well and along with that we've employed or hired uh, Dr. Megan Fairley who was a dentist that had been working in the practice of uh, Dr. Strickland's and um, she is uh, not with us today but she's a real important part of our dental team as well. Excellent. So Amy tell me a little bit about how in the world it is that uh, you and Richard got together. Well, uh, Richard and I met when we were in dental school. I was a sophomore and he was a senior and um, we started dating and not long after he um, graduated and came back to Rocky Mount and um, I always thought that I would return home to Vera Beach, Florida, but um, if I wanted to be with him, I needed to come to Rocky Mount and I'm so thankful um, that, that I did. And now, Richard, tell me how in the world did you get her to come from to rock him out rather well, than going to Vera Beach. You know, I, I have to credit that with my persistence, but quite honestly, we laugh because I think she grew up thinking she would always practice looking out over the palm trees and blue water of Vera Beach, and uh, here she is in eastern North Carolina with pine trees and tobacco fields, but <laughs> we uh, wouldn't replace it for anything. Um, but I was a persistent. As she said, I was two years ahead of, of her, and I recall seeing the tall girl with a nice tan walking down the hall, and um, I quickly found out who she was, and um, if she really was dating that um, boy very, very seriously. And uh, my persist persistence paid off. I say it was love at first sight, but uh, I have to say maybe for me. And I, I eventually wore her down and um, 
we uh, I knew you know that spring that this was definitely the woman I wanted to marry and we dated for two years until she graduated from school and she moved here and joined me in practice in 1991. Okay well as your persistence apparently paid off in other ways also because you now have three children I understand. Right. We do. Tell me about them Amy. Uh, we have got Caroline as our oldest and Caroline's 18. Um, she's a freshman at Meredith College and then we've got Richard um, the fourth who is 17 and then Charlotte who's 15 um, and so they keep us quite busy. So Amy with having to juggle the three children and a dental practice and and a hard charging husband and a, you know the expanding business how did you handle all that? Well I must say I credit a lot to Richard um, and our children um, it's, um, you know, at times it can be difficult to balance, um, but fortunately practicing with Richard, it has allowed me the time to spend with the kids, particularly when they were little. Um, I was able to spend more time at home with them. And as, as um, you know, of course, we always know they need their mom, but um, as they got older and more involved with school and I had more time, right. then I found myself in the office um, much more. And now, Richard, um in addition to the work that you've done here in Rocky Mountain that y'all have done directly within the community, you've also been very active within the Dental Society itself and the foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yes. You know, I've always felt like part of being a professional is giving back to not only your community but your profession. And we are in a wonderful profession, um, dentistry. Um, and I credit those that came before us of doing so much to kind of lay the groundwork. And so I feel like there's a responsibility for Amy and I to do the same for those that are going to come along behind us. So we've always felt strongly about giving back in many ways. Uh, I've served the North Carolina Dental Society as president, um, been on the council to the American Dental Association, uh, worked with the dental school um, on their North Carolina Dental Foundation, and currently am a past chair of the Dental Assisting National Board. Now, so all, all things I've enjoyed, and I credit Amy with maybe supporting me and giving me the time to do that. Now, I, I want you all to remember that um, what he said was there was president, chairman, and also other president that was all in there. So he is not just working at it. He is really devoting himself to furthering the dental profession. Now, Amy, tell me about what, some of the things that are going on here in Rocky Mount that you all are doing back in the community. Well, through the North Carolina Dental Society, there are three um, programs that immediately come to mind. Children's Dental Health Month, month which... Um, a lot of people are familiar with um, right. a lot of um, the local dentist will um, provide treatment um, uh, for children that uh, might otherwise not receive care um, there is also mission of mercy which is a service that travels around the state that um, that treats a lot of um, underprivileged patients and then there's right. also something that i'm very passionate about it's called donated dental services it's through the North Carolina Dental Society, and they, um, they identify um, patients in our area that um, would not receive care um, if they didn't have dentists that would donate of their time. And I feel very fortunate to have participated in that, and I must credit um, my staff and um, also the dental laboratories that we work with that donate their services as well as our specialists. We've got a great group of um, specialists in town that are more than happy to help in that mission. Well, I can't help but think that if I were somebody and I didn't have any means of seeing a dentist and somebody said, I will help relieve you of that pain, I would be indebted to you forever because anybody who's ever had a toothache can appreciate the pain that somebody else experiences. Well, I tell you what, why don't we visit a little bit with your staff and let everybody get to know them. That'd be great. Okay. Hi, I'm Rita Wade from Wade Designs Jewelry here in Antwerp, Belgium. I've earned the esteemed nickname of Le Difficile, loosely translated, the picky one. Le Difficile, quand il vient chez moi, il choisit la crème de la crème. This is for La Difficile, because this dance has to be made perfect. Le Difficile, we all know the picky one. La Difficile is simple, she only accepts the very best. We respect that. Come to Wade Designs Jewelry at the Shops at Stony Creek in Rocky Mount. Are you just starting out on your own and want to be independent? 
Do you have a family and need a bigger home? Are the kids moving out and are you downsizing? First Carolina Realty can help. A one or two bedroom apartment or house for those starting out. A three or four bedroom home for a growing family. Rentals, sales, new homes, pre-owned homes, investment property in the city or in the country. Call First Carolina Realty. Now is a good time to make that move. Real estate prices are right, interest rates are low, and there is a fantastic selection of homes available. First Carolina Realty is a full-service licensed real estate firm with offices located at 1100 West Thomas Street, open 9 to 5.30 Monday through Friday. If you have rental properties and are tired of the headaches associated with managing them yourself, or if you're looking for a new management team to manage your rental properties, call First Carolina Realty at 252-985-2321. Visit our webpage at firstcarolinarealty.com. We will gladly help you with all your real estate needs. Hi, I'm Jean Almond. I want to invite you to bring your prescriptions to Almond's Drugstore. It seems like at those big name pharmacies, they only care about filling your prescriptions and pushing you out the door. At Almond's, we'll call you by name and treat you like family. Our pharmacists are accurate, trustworthy, and eager to talk with you about all your health care concerns. Our cash prices are lower than most and we'll accept your insurance. Call Almond's now and we'll transfer your prescriptions. That's all it takes to begin being called by name and treated like family. And now we are here with Dr. Hunts, and they will be introducing their staff. Dr. Hunts? Well, you know, receiving this recognition was quite a surprise and quite an honor, but uh, I'll quickly say that. I think it's uh, our staff who really gets the credit for any recognition that we receive. We uh, finally refer to them as our dream team, and I'll begin by introducing you to the first ladies that you would meet if you came to our office. Miss uh, Miss uh, Kim Puckett, and Kim can tell you a little bit about her role in our practice. I'm Kim Puckett, and I've been with this practice for uh, about five and a half years now. And I think what makes this practice special from anyone I've ever worked in is the personal care that Dr. Hunt, Dr. Amy, and Dr. Richard give their patients. They go beyond them being patients. They really care about him. They care about their families. They care about their outside activities. And they just have a personal relationship that they build with every patient that will allow them to. I think we're going to have to hire her. She <laughs> <laughs> almost replaced her. Absolutely. And I'm Sharon Drake. I'm the business coordinator for the practice. My main responsibilities include accounts receivables, accounts payable, and I also uh, work a lot with the patients on their dental insurance. Um, dental insurance is very different from health insurance, so we strive really hard here to help our patients understand that. Um, so we do try really hard here to make our patients feel at home. As soon as they walk in the door, we call them by name, um, which sometimes takes people by surprise. But um, we do make them try to feel welcome and feel at ease because it is kind of a sometimes a tough spot for people to come. They're not always real happy to be here. But um, we love working for the Hunts. They're great people. I've been here about eight years, and I'm uh, very glad to be here. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to go back into the back, and we're going to meet some, a few others. Be great. Thanks, lady. And I'd like to introduce you to our two dental hygienists, um, Michelle Renner and Kathy Eckfield. I'm going to let them say a little something about themselves. Well, my name's Michelle Renner. I've been with the Hunts almost 17 years now. They um, hired me right out of school, and I have really enjoyed getting to know the patients in this practice and getting to know them and watching their children grow up, watching all the children in the practice grow up, and just getting really, um, I look forward each day to seeing my patients and just kind of catching up what they've been up to in the last few months. Hi, I'm Kathy Eckfield. I have worked with the Hunts for 13 years now and have really enjoyed being a part of this practice. There's such a, a team effort here. Uh, we feel so connected with our patients. It's a pleasure every day to come to work and get to spend time with such a great team and with all the wonderful patients that we see in our community as well. So now I'm going to introduce you to the um, remaining four members of our team. We, these are our dental assistants. We've got um, Jerry, Deborah. Bridget and Jenny. I'll let them tell you a little bit about their role in the dental practice. Um, I've been with the Hunts for three years now and um, enjoyed um, working with them. I'm a dental assistant obviously, um, just making sure the patient's comfortable with the procedures, making sure that the Hunts have what they need. Um, 
so that the procedure can go smoothly. And I've just uh, um, enjoyed being here um, and enjoyed taking care of the patients. Okay. I'm Deborah, and I'm the newest member of the team. I've been here about a year, and I'm just really impressed with the way the hunts um, respect each of their team members and their patients and just the care that they give everyone. And I'm Bridget, and I f I'm a formal um, dental assistant of Dr. Ted Strickland. I worked with him for 12 years, his assistant, and um, I really enjoyed working here and continuing the care for the um, patients. So, and I've enjoyed working with the Hunts also. I'm Jenny, and I've been here with the Hunts for about 13 years. And the biggest thing that I enjoy is getting to know the patients, not just about their dental care, but their personal lives too, and just becoming a big family with everybody. So you can see our team really does care for our patients. We often say patients don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so that's a mantra that these ladies support us in daily. And um, we really give them credit for this recognition that we've received this month. Well, we do, you've met everybody now uh, that works here and that when you come into the office that you're going to have help you through all of the processes. But now I just want to talk to the hunts a little bit about what it's like to actually, you know, the dental practice itself. What makes their, their, their office a little bit special so that uh, when you come here that you know that you're in particularly good hands. But Richard, tell me, um, you're, after all the education that you've been through and that you've been through, Amy, what makes really your office a little bit special above and beyond, you know, or everybody else? Well, I wouldn't say above and beyond because we work in a, dental, a wonderful community of dental practices. But what does make us unique, I think, is the yeah. fact that we practice together, uh, Amy and I, and now Dr. Megan Fairley with us as well. And so patients have the benefit of three heads that are going to um, mm -hmm. maybe evaluate their dental circumstances and uh, come up with the best solution for them. So when you leave here, though, and y'all go home, you still take the practice, the problems with you, and you have the your patients have the chance of having y'all just talk, talk about it any and all hours of the night? S certainly. I'm sure there have been many dinner conversations that have centered around teeth. Yeah. Um, and so, but that is, it's something uh, we both love what we do, and it's, um, yeah, so it's certainly we do take it home with us as well. Okay. Now, Amy, tell me if, um, as we were talking just a moment ago, uh, dentistry is not just having, you know, white, white teeth. It's about a whole lot of other things as well, isn't it? It is. Um, you know, I think all too often the misconception is is that beauty is um, is just the color of your teeth, and everybody these days seems to want white teeth. And while we like that, there are other things that make a smile attractive, um, such as healthy gum tissues, um, symmetry, and um, so there's a lot more to it than just the shade or the color of your teeth. Mm -hmm. And we try um, very hard to educate our patients on their unique circumstances. Now when somebody comes, what, what, what is the biggest problem that most people have? Is it with teeth actually or is it with gum or does it make a difference as to how old they are? Well, you know, interestingly enough, I think what we have learned a lot over the years um, is the, the problems that stem from the way patients' teeth fit together. Um, you oh. know, um, we have got a tremendous amount of patients that um, grind their teeth at night and, you know, just seeing the, um, the bad effects Just all that, that stress, that worry. Uh, that's <laughs> it. So I think it's important for patients simply to understand that, um, that there's more to it than just teeth. It's important for us to evaluate the teeth, the bone support, the gum tissues, the way the teeth fit together. The, the joints, the temporomandibular joints, and the muscles that are associated that look at it more as a system. Um, but in essence, I think it's most important for them to understand that it's so important to have um, good oral hygiene. So oh, that's the reason that with all these complexities that you're talking about, that it's good for you to have your own personal dentist who knows you directly, personally, and has an entire cadre of people who can help and assist in that. So thank you very much for all of this. And Johnny, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thank you. Uh, and now as a monthly winner of the small, uh, small Business of the Month, Dr. Hunts will be joining us in June when we have our annual Small Business Banquet where each of the monthly winners are eligible for the annual award as Small Business of the Year. So we look forward to seeing you in June. And, uh, and the Chamber, once again, 
wishes to celebrate with you, your practice, and all the good things you do for the community. Here, here. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And this has been Around Town with Gene Ullman and Johnny Bass, Lanny Schaff, and Dr. Hunt, Dr. Doctor and Dr. Hunt. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm.